Hey everybody, it's John here from VideoGameAct.com. Here we are today back in Goat Simulator, more Goat's Edition, grabbing the Survivalist Achievement, which is to craft every single item in the After Outbreak mode of Goat C. I recommend having these mutators, Double Jump, Inventory, Casual Goat, No Hunger, and Wheel of Time. Just as in the Weapons Guide, Wheel of Time is gone in the MMO map, and I highly recommend it because you can freeze time, as you can see there, so the zombies don't give you trouble. It also freezes the timer, which helps out because the stronger enemies later, um, spawn later on. Anyways, uh, make your way to the uh, protesters. So uh, go over here, you want to grab a torch, which is going to be all over the place. Make sure you unfreeze time and then hop into the hole. Once you spawn on the island, you can refreeze time because uh, you can't travel to another area if time is frozen. So uh, once you're here, what you want to do is you want to platform your way up until you get to the island right here. Once you're up here, what you want to do is you want to grab the stick doll, which is hanging on this pole right here. And thanks to the inventory perk, what you can do is you can just lick an item and hit left bumper to put it in your inventory. That way you can carry more than one item at once and you don't lose any items by having to uh, drag it around everywhere. Alright, so once you get uh, that, you want to head back to the uh, spawn area. The uh, garage is going to be to the left of your spawn area. Every time um, you enter the garage, make sure you uh, unfreeze time because you can't craft items with uh, time frozen. Uh, what you want to do is you want to hit right bumper and then hit A and you want to combine your um, stick um, doll with the torch to make a campfire. And uh, that will get uh, the first item out of the way. Then what you want to do is you want to head across the street and head to the mall. To the left will be your first store. It's going to be a cafe. What you want to do is you want to grab a pack of sugar. It's going to be on the, the uh, second shelf right here. So uh, grab it and this can combine with any item. Literally any item in the game. So I like to grab this chair right here but you can literally do anything. You can do a person, you can do a, a sign, a pole. Uh, but I always go with that chair. So I head back to the garage and I'm going to be using pretty much the same garage for most of the video just as a reference point so you don't get lost. Uh, combine your sugar with your random item and you should get the edible food. After that what you want to do is you want to leave, head back to the mall, so just cross the street. We're going to be going here a lot and I'm doing one item at a time just um, for simplicity's sake. Obviously you can do this much more efficiently by gathering all the items and then going back to the garage and then crafting everything at once. But uh, this way I can keep a nice checklist and uh, be more efficient about it, or less efficient rather, however you want to see it. But uh, make sure you grab the can of beans in the corner of the alley right there. It's right next to the ladder going up to the roof of the mall. And then you want to go across the street, head to the barn, and go up to the second floor. Grab a barrel right here, grab one of the wooden barrels, not the blue barrel which uh, has its own achievement I've already covered so um, make sure you do that and then bring both of these back to the garage or a garage if you're not using this method once again try my best not to get any of the uh, newcomers to this game lost so uh, head to this garage and then craft these two together and that should give us a uh, crowd control bomb and uh, then what you want to do is you want to head back to the uh, alleyway where we got the baked beans and we're going to grab some more beans, so I'm going to take this way. It's uh, two ways to do it. You can either go across the parking lot or you can go around. doesn't really matter. Just head to the alley and then grab the second can of beans right next to the trash can and the ladder. So there we go. And now we're going to head to the uh, TV movie studio. It's going to be over here. Just take a left and... Uh, head up and once you're here what you want to do is you want to head into uh, this studio it's the one on the right and you want to go over here now this item is a little tricky this is going to be the um stage light pole right here or the stand the thing with this item is you can't put it in your inventory without it glitching out later on so we're gonna have to drag this thing and let me tell you this thing is a huge pain to drag especially if you have time unfrozen because this thing gets caught on like zombies so make sure you have time frozen and try to get this thing through the studio door and even tougher try to get through the garage door and there's a garage next to the studio which is good for us so we don't have to drag this thing all the way back to the starting garage make sure you drag this thing onto the crafting platform and of course we're going to go outside to unfreeze time and then we're going to head back inside the garage and then we're going to open up our inventory and we're going to place the beans on it and that should make the home security so take uh, that takes care of that and we're going to refreeze time and then head back outside 
and we're gonna go back into the studio and you want to look for another one of those uh, stage light thingies this time you want to get the light component so it's composed of two parts obviously the stand and the actual light or lamp make sure you grab that to do that just tackle it and um, make sure you follow where the light landed and uh, pick it up and stash it in your inventory and then what you want to do is you want to head to the left of the studio grab one of these road barriers right here and uh, bring these two back to the garage I'm going to be using the uh, studio garage for the next couple of ones just because it's close by and a lot of these items are pretty big and uh, take up a lot of space in the garage as you can see here this one's a bumper car and it takes up the whole crafting platform so uh, what you want to do now is you want to head back to the left of the studio right here grab another roadblock thing and then what you want to do is you want to head up. You should see a half pipe right here. To the left of that will be a sign that says fiercely fast. Make sure you grab that. So you want to jump, lick, and then hit the left bumper to stash it in your inventory. Bring these two back to the um, garage. And you can craft these two into the uh, faster bumper car. So once again, unfreeze time before you step in the garage. And then step in and then craft your things and grab your sweet ride the cooler bumper car with a nice design so anyways we're going to head back to the left of the studio and this is where the double jump mutator comes in handy because you need to get that sign right there in the background that says skate now be very careful for th with this because there's only one in the whole map so if you accidentally drop it you are going to have to restart the game so you have to make that jump right there which is a little tricky because you can bump into it and knock it off the cliff right here so try your best not to do that and you want to make sure you grab it and then we're going to head all the way back to the starting garage and uh, just take a left up here and then just follow the road back take another left and then take a left up here all lefts make sure before you go back to the starting area you ram the barricade so it breaks up into a bunch of planks make sure you grab one of the planks and then head back into the garage and you can craft these two into a skateboard so go in here combine your neon skate sign with a uh, board and make a skateboard and I'm sure this works in real life so uh, Try this at home, kids, and see what happens. So anyways, leave and go back to the busted down barricade and grab another plank. And now we're going to head up here. We're going to head back to the starting area in the before the outbreak map. So this is going to be the cemetery. If you remember where that is, it's going to be on a hill um, above the farm. And a lot of people don't realize this, but there's actually a church up there that you probably didn't pay attention to until this moment you want to unfreeze time and then you want to tackle this tombstone to the left of the church that should get it open it only opens if time is unfrozen once you get into the church I recommend freezing time again or else Jason Voorhees is gonna slice you up with a chainsaw anyways you want to grab this home sweet home sign off of the uh, podium right here and then he wants to run to the nearest garage there's one um, at the farmhouse right here you're gonna have to bust down this desk and this sheet metal to get inside but you want to uh, get inside, make sure you unfreeze time before you get inside as always. And then you want to craft the sign and the plank to make a uh, house that looks like Eeyore's house from Winnie the Pooh. So nice Easter egg right there. And uh, that does it with the basic items. Now we have to do the clothes. Head across the street and grab a box of nails. It's going to be on this crate in the construction site. And then we are going to head all the way back to the mall. So follow the road and head in the mall and you want to go to the second store on the right so the one that's next to the Apple store it's called Owlitzer it's going to be um, a clothing store and with clothes this is a little tricky you can't stash clothes in your inventory and you can't grab it while time is frozen so you have to unfreeze time ram into a rack of clothes and then you have to, have to uh, lick the clothes and uh, then drag it all the way back to the garage it's a huge pain and this is where most of our time goes into is just dragging the clothes back um, so make sure you keep that in mind and you're going to need a, a lot of clothes so combine that set of clothes with the box of nails to get another Winnie the Pooh Easter egg you get uh, Eeyore's tail right here and then head back to the studio you want to make sure you go into this studio right here which is stage two and you want to look on the left and you should see this moon right here, which is a Majora's Mask reference. At least I'd like to think it is. Uh, make sure you grab that. And then we're going to head all the way back to the mall and get another shirt. You're going to be needing a lot of shirts for this. And sadly, you have to do it one at a time because obviously you can't put these in your inventory. So you can't stockpile them. So grab another shirt. And once again, you have to have time unfrozen in order to drag it. 
all the way back to the garage. And once you do, combine it with the moon to get yourself some nice kicks. And uh, once you have these, you want to head to the back area right here. So make sure you jump this barricade. And then you want to take a right. And over here will be the uh, vendors. What you want to do is you want to look at the first vendor. You want to ram his um, uh, booth right here. And you want to make sure you grab the fan. So that um, electric fan right there is what you're looking for. Make sure you grab it. And then we're going to combine this with, once again, another shirt. So you could put the uh, secondary item in your inventory, but you always have to drag the shirts. So make sure you unfreeze time once you get into the mall. And then drag the shirt into the garage, combine that with your item, and these two will get us a makeshift backpack. And the last shirt item we need is going to have um, an item that's needed in the mall. So go to the mall, head up to the second floor, and go into the men's bathroom, which is going to be on your right. Grab the toilet paper, and then stash that in your inventory. And then head back down to the first floor and grab yet another shirt. And this is the last time we're doing this, there's only four shirt items, which is pretty cool and uh, grab that and then drag these two all the way back to the garage and uh, then you can uh, have the um, journey scarf from the uh, PlayStation game journey so that's another cool reference and uh, you're not done yet that's all the items but also all the weapons count for this so I've already made a guide on all the weapons so you can check that out if you need a more detailed look at it so I'm gonna do the abridged version of that so go into the developers houses backyard and grab the flower then head to the police station behind that barricade and grab the mousetrap then head back to the developers house and then go upstairs and grab the gumball machine and the radio off of that table right there going by really fast because I've already done a guide on this and uh, this will uh, save you a bunch of time and this is probably the efficient way to do it if you uh, want to save a bunch of time Head to the mall and then grab a um, wedding cake off of this counter right here. And you can stash all these in your inventory. That's the cool thing about having the inventory perk is you can carry a bunch of items at once. Uh, once you leave the mall, take a right and then head to the circus. Go to the fortune teller tent and grab a crystal ball. There's a huge pile right there. And what you want to do now is you want to head all the way back to the uh, farm. Unfreeze time when you see the protesters and then you can jump in the hole. Once again, you can't travel through the hole if time is frozen. Once you cross to the other side, you can refreeze re time if you're that worried about zombies here. Climb to the top and then head to the um, pot. And you want to grab this um, stick figure right here or the uh, stick doll and this green vial right here. And uh, once you get those two, we are going to head back to the mainland and you want to head all the way back to the spawn area. So just follow the road until you get to here. All right, once you're here, you want to go to the backyard and then you have to unfreeze time and you want to look for the beer hose. It's going to be right here in the backyard under the banner. Now this item you can't stash in your inventory and you can't grab it with uh, time frozen. So this is just like the shirts where you need to have time unfrozen and you need to drag it all the way to the garage. Try not to get it stuck on that tree or anywhere else for that matter. You want to place it on the uh, craftable platform and then you want to start crafting all the items. So combine the beer hose with the gumball machine, combine the flower with the mousetrap, combine the stick doll with the wedding cake, combine the crystal ball with the radio, and combine the green ooze with the mini gun, which is going to be on the crafting table to the right of the garage. Once you do that, you should get the achievement for 15 gamer score and that's all there is to it.